Number 64, letter A. Take the slope of the curve in figure 2.64 to find the jogger's velocity at time is equal to 2.5 seconds. Okay, so let's take a look at this figure 2.64. Now the graph is a position versus time graph, so you have to remember that the slope of this graph is equal to the velocity. Why? Well, slope is equal to change in y over change in x. Okay, what are the units for y in this, in this graph? The units of y are meters. What are the units for x? Seconds. Meters per second, what are those the units of? Velocity. Easy peasy. Now, let's take a look at the time of 2.5. So let's look at the graph and locate the time value of two and a half seconds. So it looks like it occurs, right, this looks like about two and a half. And if we scroll up, it actually looks like they marked this point out nicely for us. Okay, now, what this means is that we have to find the slope of the line that is tangent or just grazes the graph at this point. Okay, so what I need to do now is draw a, a slope line. And it almost looks like it's going to match, right? It, it looks like it's going to just match that line. So that's basically just what I'm going to draw here. There's a slight curve to it, but not enough... Not enough to make a big difference here. All right, so that looks about accurate, roughly. All right, so uh, let's now calculate the slope of this line. So we've got to find m of this particular line. So let's write it down. Slope is equal to change in y over change in x. Okay, great. So let's expand that. So that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What this means is that we need two points on that particular line. So let me choose the point here because that's really simple. Right, the point there is going to be 0, 0, comma, 0. So let's call this my x1 and call this my y1. Now let's choose a point maybe, I don't know, uh, about where the 25 mark is. That looks like it's about here. Right, and if I were to dot my way down Maybe it's about seven or so, right? It looks like it might be about that. So the X coordinate of this particular point right here is gonna be seven and the Y is about 25. So call that now your X2 and your Y2. So let's just plug them in now, back to the slope formula. The Y2 value we said was 25, the Y1 value was zero, the X2 value was seven and the Y, uh, excuse me, the X1 value is zero. So just, Simplify this a little bit, right? Subtracting by zero, nothing happens. So now my slope becomes 25 over seven. So plug it into the calculator. And the value becomes 3.57. Okay, so 3.57. So about three and a half meters per second. All right, that's the, that's the slope value. So this would be the velocity. Okay, great. Now, let's take a look on the right-hand side. All right, uh, the next graph figure, so letter B, so I'm skipping, I'm reading letter B, but not reading it to you guys. So it now says letter B, uh, repeat this for uh, 7.5 seconds. So now I have to go onto the same graph, find my value of 7.5 seconds. So it looks like here, right? I'm gonna have to do the same thing. Okay, so Let's draw the slope at that particular point. Looks like it's gonna be a nice, relatively straight line here, right? Um, yeah, that looks, that doesn't, that looks a little off, right? So let me try that again. Let me try that again. I'm not the best artist. Oh, wow, that got a lot worse. Okay. I mean, you don't have to be an artist to draw a straight line. Wow, that, okay, one more time, guys, one more. All right, I can deal with that. So, so now what we have to do is find the slope of this black line. All right, so I'm gonna use the point here because that's where it crosses the x-axis. So I know that the y value is zero and the x value looks like it's a little greater than 10, right? Not quite 11, but why don't we just call it 11 for now? All right, so call this x1 and y1 and then find a point, let's say right about here where the 25 is again. Okay, and it looks like the x value is gonna be about four there. So that point will have a coordinate of about 4, 25. Call this x2, y2. Great, let's do it again. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
So the slope here would be the y2 value, which we defined as 25, the y1 value, which we defined as 0, the x2 value, which was 4, and the x1 value, which was 11. So let's clean it up a little bit. So it's 25 over negative uh, 7. Okay, great. So now what we're going to look to do is now we're going to look to divide the two, right? So let's take 25 divided by negative 7. And that comes out to be, wow, that's actually, oh, it's actually a really good guess I made. So the answer comes out, it's the same exact thing, right, as before. It's just negative now, 3.57. And that's meters uh, per second. And that's, again, the velocity. Now, it's negative because the slope is decreasing, so the velocity is going down, which definitely makes sense. All right. So now what they want us to do is make sure, then at the end of the question, it says, make sure these values must be consistent with the graph over here. So, because now this is the velocity versus time graph. So let's take a look. The first thing I calculated was the uh, slope, right, at um, three, uh, excuse me, at 2.5 seconds. So right here, this is the velocity at 2.5 seconds. So now let's go to the graph over here. Let's find 2.5 seconds. That should be right about here. Now scroll up to where the graph is about, right? So uh, yeah, 2. Point, yeah, 2.5 would be about there, right? It looks like it would be, right, if I were to go, it looks like it's about four here, okay? They might say, well, Andrew, you did, that's three, three and a half and that's four. Yeah, I know, it's gonna be a little off, right? Like I said, my, my straight line, my slope, uh, I'm, I'm slightly guessing at some of the numbers, you know, when I'm doing my calculations here, right? I don't have grid lines and whatnot, so I have to use, I have to go by I, but this is definitely close enough. It's not like the answer was 17 and I got three. That's a problem. But, you know, so when you guys are checking over your work, if you get a slightly different answer than me, even, that's totally fine. As long as you're within a slight margin, you know, a, a low margin of error here. That's not a big deal. What's a low margin of error? I don't know, 0.5, you know, 0.6, somewhere around there. Okay, so that's fine. Now um, they wanted us to find then, okay, so that makes sense. Now they want us to check this value here. So remember that this value was the velocity at now 7.5 seconds. So go to the same graph, locate seven and a half. That would be about here. Find the point on the graph. And it looks like it's about here. Right, so my line actually looks much more accurate for the, uh, for the seven and a half than it was. That looks like it's about three and a half almost. All right, but they're both reasonable and they both make sense. So um, yeah, I just checked it. So guys, thanks for checking this out. All right, we appreciate it very much. I hope it helped and please remember to subscribe. Until next time.